Okay, YouTube. I see a lot of videos on YouTube. People say, if you end up with this, you're in a world of hurt. So what we had here was pull string that had been shortened already, already been fixed, but has a good housing. Pull string that wasn't previously broke, but has a broken housing. So I decided I'm gonna switch these housings around, put the good string with the good housing. It'd be a good time to show you guys how to uh, re-spool this. Now I'll probably end up cutting some of it out. Some of this will be, it can be long and um, time consuming, real tedious type work. But I'm going to show you the process and uh, get you through the frustration of, uh, of having to restring your, uh, your pull string. So, all right, let's get started. So to get to that housing, <clears throat> we're going to take this string. Cut it out like that and take that off. Feed it through there. A lot of these handles are set up differently. Some of them have a little, like a little uh, rod that you tie the string around and then it fits down inside the handle. Like this one here, tie a knot. Just like that. So everything's in place. But don't forget to thread it through here. I've gone through and gotten everything ready and forgot to thread it through here before and you gotta start all over. So once you get that done, this here is where people have the most problem is getting this thing re-spooled. Which can look like a real nightmare. It does kind of suck, but once you understand it, it's not so bad. Now, whenever you go to spool this in there, your string will end up wrapping around it this way. So when you pull, it turns the spool counterclockwise. So there's a little notch down here. The hook on this inside of this coil wraps around that hook. This will turn counterclockwise, winding the coil tighter, and then when you let go of it, it will spring back this way and draw the string back in. So you have to remember that as you're putting this together. Now if you look real close, right down inside there, there's a little groove. I don't know how well you guys can see this. There's a little groove down inside there. Where this little hook needs to fit in. But first, you have to wind this thing up. And it has to be tight enough that it fits inside of here. And yes, this metal's thin and sharp and can cut you. So be careful. Some people may want to wear gloves when they do it. 
You can end up with little slices in your fingers, but not that big a deal. Oh, not to mention a couple of tools you'll need. Small flathead or tuning screwdriver. Needle nose. Make it small enough that it slides down inside that housing rather easily. So once I get it tightened up like this, this is where it can get time consuming and tedious because uh, it just keeps, it likes to slip out a lot. You just have to keep fighting it. And eventually, eventually you get get it where you want it. Yeah, it's going to take a couple tries. But at least I didn't lose the whole thing, so that'll make it that much easier. Hands will start cramping up, fingers will start hurting, you'll start cussing here pretty soon. So if you get it in a position kind of like that, probably need to be just a little bit smaller with it. A little bit tighter. I think I can make this work. Just use a screwdriver. Force it down and then force it down into its home. Okay. And then it'll kind of spring out to fit the hole. So that's the first step, and that's that's pretty tough. Hurt your hands. But key is getting it strung, sprung up real tight and then getting that hook into its little groove down in there. I hope you can see that. Okay, when you look in this way, you can see the little groove, which is this. You can see it from in here, so you can kind of judge where it's going in relation to that little hook. Um, I've even had like on my uh, on that low C uh, with the uh, Novorossi on it, that hook broke off, and it actually is shaped different. And it, this here is all made different. Um, 
all, they're all different. You just have to look at it and, and see what it's like. But I had to re reform the spring in it to uh, to get it to fit. So you just kind of have to play with it and, and see how each one of them fits. But since my hook faces that way, I'm putting my groove up that direction towards the top of it. Usually I use my the light on my phone to see what I'm doing, but I'm using it as a camera this time, so it makes it kind of hard to see. Oh my god, it worked. So, if you can see down in there, there's a little metal hook that's so just inside the plastic. Let's see. Yeah, that little metal hook down in there. So that means, in theory, I've got it hooked right. So now what you want to do is grab your string, pull it all the way up. So the end that's attached to your spool You then start wrapping it counterclockwise. You take your flathead, slide it down in, Just keep wrapping it around till you get the whole the whole string tucked down in there. Of course, you want to be careful not cut the string with your screwdriver, but it's it's pretty resilient. Every once in a while, pull more slack back up, and just keep wrapping it around. Like the low C strings broke so many times, I only get about two, maybe three wraps out of it now. Try not to get. Try not to do that. It'll constantly want to fight you. You just have to keep working it. It's got a bad spot here. It may even break there at some point. But anyways, so get this wrapped around there as many times as you can. That's the first step of this portion. And by the end of this, you'll have done this process probably 10 times or better. Just depends on how long your pull string is. And as you can see here, this one does not have a back plate in it. Some of them have like a ring, cage, or whatever you want to call it, that you snap in, hold it in place. This is an LRP. It does not. So now, while holding it in place, pull it out as far as you can. Pull the string out. Repeat the process. And what this is going to do is give it some more spring. Make that spring even tighter. 
and now we'll be able to go back to that original relaxed position it'll always be tight inside of there because once you get all this pulled in then this will stop it from actually retracting completely and so it'll be that much tighter yeah You just keep tucking it inside, and this is why I said you'll do it about 10 times. It looks like I'm doing it about three or so each time that I do this. It keeps wanting to tie itself in a knot. But don't let it do that because then you'll have a real mess. And if you have a pull start that uh, seems kind of loose, like the, like your your strings just kind of wanting to hang off to the edge, like it retracts, but it doesn't seem to want to retract all the way, you could take it apart and and just do this string winding. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been sick, so my voice may sound a little funky. But the key is to keep tension on the spool, keep that spring nice and tight. There you have it. Now, I mean, depending on how tight you want to go, you can even pull it out and do it again. Doesn't seem necessary, it's, it's nice and tight. You know, sometimes you get it where they're hanging over like that. You know, just be on the safe side. Pull it out halfway, wrap it around once or twice more. However you wanna do it. Thing keeps getting tangled up in there. Either way, oh, it's coming out. Ah, I started to unravel it. So I'll go ahead and finish off this round. Yeah, sometimes that string gets in the way of itself and you get confused on which one's which. What? Heck, I don't know, there may be another video out there on it, but buddy showed me this. He said he's seen a video somewhere. I don't know. But figured I'd try to show you a simple and easy as possible way to do it. But the hardest part I'd say is getting that hooked in there on the spring. But once you figure out exactly how it's supposed to go, as you've seen, I got that in there pretty easy. And that's the first time I've done this one. So they're all just a little bit different, but same process. Once you get it set in there and in that spring, pull it out, pull your string, Wrap it, let it go. Well, for all you pull start users, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.